Alec from High Touch here. I'm going to walk you through a little overview of Match Booster, our newest product release that we are super excited about getting out to market. So first of all, for those not familiar, High Touch is a data activation platform. We allow you to sync data from your data warehouse into over 150 different destinations. Companies go and they'll build audiences or define customer models that they want to send from Snowflake into, say, a platform like Salesforce or Facebook to go and run marketing campaigns. Now, when we're talking about advertising destinations, places like TikTok and Facebook, one of the things that's super important is getting actual customer PII into those downstream tools to go and build their audiences. Facebook and other platforms use this to match to customer profiles to find the customers in those downstream tools. So one of the things that we saw and heard from customers was they didn't have enough first party data in their data warehouse. They needed to go in and find other sources of data to go and build their audiences. So we went back to the drawing board and released Match Booster, a feature that allows customers to go and enrich their data sets in transit in a secure fashion to boost their match rates in their downstream platforms. So how did we build it? First, we aggregated data from leading data providers into what we call our identity store. Through a secure data share, we're able to take over 10 different data providers and build and clean what is now our high touch identity store. Now we've built a proprietary match engine that as a user goes and sets up a sync from uh, Snowflake to say a platform like Facebook, the match engine will go, query the identity store, join and enrich that third party data set and enrich it into their sync as it's in transit into Facebook. So in this case, when I go to send my audience of purchasers from Snowflake to say Facebook, High Touch is going to handle that as they always do with no data ever being stored at rest. This time though, as by toggling on Match Booster, we're gonna enrich that sync with additional data points from our identity store. All those billions of rows of customer data that we've uh, securely aggregated will now be used to go and boost those match rates into downstream platforms. So perhaps the best way to show this is a before and after. So without Match Booster, maybe a B2B had a work email, a phone number, and a first name, and we're seeing about 40% match rate. Afterwards, by adding these additional data points, we're adding things like personal email address, mobile ad ID, geo data, additional data points, again, securely enriched to go and drive up those match rates into downstream tools. So you're going from what is 40% match rate to a 68% match rate, all in a matter of minutes. Now, what does this look like end to end? It looks a little something like this, where you're taking your data points in high touch, we're toggling on match booster, adding the additional data points in transit, and then seeing those boosts on those downstream platforms. Now in the UI, it's not much different than setting up a regular sync. The fields are, are pretty much the same other than this new little icon after you toggle on match booster. And the same way that you pick your uh, traditional fields in high touch, you're gonna go and pick those from a different dropdown that says match booster with this icon, where we're now gonna use the additional boosted fields. Now, a couple of use cases from our early POCs, the first being a B2B SaaS company who wanted to improve their paid media performance across Facebook and Instagram. Now, like many B2Bs, they struggle to match customer profiles on Facebook because customer email addresses are work emails and no one really signs up for Facebook with work emails. So by using Match Booster, they're able to enrich their customer data with those personal email addresses and saw a 68% boost to match rates on meta platforms. That means they have substantially more customers to go and run suppression and lookalike campaigns off of. The second one is a B2B publisher, or sorry, B2C publisher, who wanted to suppress existing customers across their paid media platforms, places like Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, uh, and they have millions and millions of users that they want to go and push down into those platforms. Now they wanted to test Match Booster to enrich those customer data points and see if they could get them larger in the downstream tools, and they were able to do so. They saw anywhere between a 30 and a 41% boost to their different match rates across those platforms. Now these larger audiences gave them larger suppression lists and larger seed audiences for them to go and create their lookalikes off of. So now they have better audiences that hopefully will return with better campaign return on ad spend. Now these are just two of our early POCs. We have many more customers using it today and we're excited for many of you to get your hands on the tool. For any questions, please don't uh, be scared to reach out. We're always around to answer any questions you may have and happy to give a demo by just clicking below on the page. Thanks everybody.